and you have these options now that give you a unique look. Look at that. Beautiful. Alrighty. They choose the best colors to match up with the wallpaper in the background. Now, if you want a certain color, you can click the wheel at the end, the circle, and that's going to give you the full presets. This is great. This is the brand new always on display animations on One UI 5.0 beta number three. Double tap. Look at the way it just came up. Double tap again. It goes back into the always on display when you have it on. Let's do that one more time. All right, guys, let's dive in and see all the new features. Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 5.0 beta number three with Android 13. This is a major update, brings some major enhancements and additions to the Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and uncover them right away. So the very first thing I'm going to show you real quick is when you pinch the screen, by the way, it is going to crash as soon as I show it to you because it is a beta but this is a brand new revamp of the wallpaper and style area so when i click it you are going to see when i tap on browse my wallpapers we have a brand new interface we have featured wallpapers we have our gallery and you you see just crashed but i'm going to scroll down we have the graphical wallpapers and we have colors and let me show you one more time all the way at the bottom, we have the wallpaper services and downloaded wallpapers are going to appear all the way at the bottom here. Let's see if, you, if I can go in here. So those were the graphical uh, wallpapers, but again, it is in fact crashing. Now, I was quickly able to apply one of those wallpapers and you can see this is the one right here. It is in fact a gorgeous wallpaper. I'm glad they're adding some different cool looking wallpapers as opposed to their boring stuff, which is this one uh, right here. Okay, now let me exit this. I'm going to show you one more thing. Now I'm going to take a quick screenshot and you're going to see we have a brand new screenshot animation as well. So let me just do the screenshot thing. Take a look at what happens. It's going to take this and bloop, it's going to go right down there as you saw. So that's a new and streamlined screenshot animation on One UI 5 Beta 3. The next thing I'm going to show you that is pretty cool, and you're going to love this, has to do with the lock screen. There's two ways to access it. First, let's turn this off and turn it on. If you press and hold, you're going to be asked to enter your pin or your fingerprint. As soon as you do that, you are now able to customize your lock screen simply by pressing and holding in the lock screen area. And you can see, you can do everything from here. Wallpapers, clock style, icons, contact information, which is a signature. So let me just type in Saki Tech right here. Click on done. That's going to appear right there. I can change my apps right from here. So let's just pick calculator on that side. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Looks like it did not. X that out, plus again. Okay, now there's a little choppiness here again because it's a beta. That's all going to be fixed. Let's put the flashlight right here. Now go back. You have flashlight calculator. I'm able to put down a text at the bottom. You can have a quote, your name, your contact information, whatever. Now over here, if I click on this guy, I am able to access all the clock styles. Look at that. This is beautiful. And the animations are very nice as it's happening. And looks like I can resize them as well. Okay, so that is fantastic. Major improvements here for the lock screen. Now, this is nothing new. This was part of the good lock module, has been part of it for years, but now it is going to be available for everybody. So I can also change the colors, as you can see. Okay, and then, uh, by the way, tap it again. You can change the, as you can see, you can change all the uh, fonts. So I'm going to keep it right here. And one more thing with the lock screen customization, when you're changing the colors, you have additional options. You can swipe this over and you have these options now that give you a unique look. Look at that. Beautiful. All righty. They choose the best colors to match up with the wallpaper in the background. Now, if you want a certain color, you can click the wheel at the end, the circle, and that's going to give you the full presets. This is great. 
and everybody's gonna love this and then let's do this one if I click on this one I can actually just do the icons only for notifications or I can do the details for each notification as you can see and if I choose this option I can change the transparency so it kind of disappears in the background or becomes more pronounced and auto reverse text as well is an option okay you can see what that does as long as you're 100% transparent auto reverse text is going to change the background color I'm sorry the text color against the background so I prefer this one right here so that's that and then you can tap on set and that is going to set your brand new lock screen okay so now I can go back out that's what I got and one more thing press and hold go inside I am going to tap on wallpapers that will take you into that new screen which is going to crash right now again because this is a beta okay so no big deal other thing I'm going to show you guys is you can access the same lock screen customization from here wallpaper and style click on this one and you get access to the same things the wallpaper does not show in this instance because it is right at the bottom of this and if I tap on this one let's see what happens with this one I can change the wallpaper again we have some beta bugs in there all this is going to be fixed but this is brand new and this is fantastic this is a brand new lock screen customization feature for the Samsung phones now one more thing that I've noticed that was new was if you go to your settings and if you go down over into fingerprints uh, biometrics and go into fingerprints look at what we have here I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna say add a fingerprint and now we have a brand new animation for everything so look register watch this if I press it gives me a circular animation let's do that one more time you saw that now it didn't read the whole thing but let's do it one more time there we go so it changed from what we had before and now it is this one and it's great other thing that has changed the animations of the apps have changed so if I so we do have better animations. so let me show you what I'm talking about if I launch the calculator application now when I exit that was a problem in the previous beta it was jumping all over the place before it went into the app now it does it nice and smooth goes straight into the app just like that so let's do the gallery now I'm gonna go up it goes into the gallery before it was like all over the place in fact let me show you here's beta number two so I'm gonna launch the app look at this look at that why is it going that way and then this way right so this one is simply nice and smooth go straight of course it's gonna be more streamlined it's gonna become like the one on the fold four which are almost perfect animations we also have a brand new edition in the device care section so I'm gonna go down battery and device care now under additional care we have the auto optimization setting which used to be in here but because it is important they now put it here so now when you click it you're able to do auto optimization on your phone which keeps restarting the phone in intervals to keep it nice and fresh now auto restarts are going to happen when you're not using your phone it says it right here so it's going to know you're not using your phone boom it's going to do it right then and there alrighty you can you're not going to even notice it and your phone is going to work better and by the way I want to let you guys know real quick that this is a Samsung Galaxy S21 if you sign up to receive the beta on the S21 you'll get the beta 3 by default for the S22 the beta 3 is a little bit delayed for some regions but all these features are going to trickle down to that beta and also they're going to be improved even further all right so that brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right